Why, GHG, you're wearing the same shirt as last episode. Surely that means you've not, you're going to record, I can't, but oh. Hey. Yes. I, there was one game in between. We played Torino and we won one nil. Arturo is a surge cross, came in from a set piece and he volleyed it home. It was ugh, chef's kiss. We were in fifth temporarily and then the other games um, got played, but. I just I, I don't think I pointed this out last episode. We do have a game in hand. So a simple win over Brescia three days from now would catapult us, my friends, to fourth. So we're not out of the running yet, is my point. This is how we line up today. Ken can go 75 minutes. I think he's better than Jalo. In the, I, although you could argue a deep line playmaker versus a central midfielder on defend. But he's, oh, the mentals are so strong. Jalo, uh, we'll try it, I guess. Well, that's great. Just change everything, GHG. Surge is back, so that's good. And he can go the full 90. He'll get injured, of course. Uh, Ernesto playing the complete forward because he knows it. And he's pretty good at the heading. Now, he's not very tall, but... Boy's got legs. He can jump. Okay. Alonzo on the right because Maximiano is still not match sharp. And he played a 6.4 in his game against Torino. And he got the start. So not the best situation. Um, Kluga on the bench. Viviani, Locke, and Ken as previously noted. Montana is injured. Columbani out for another two weeks. I'm, I'm tempted to go attacking. We're going to let the first 30 minutes go by. They're in excellent form. We're in inconsistent form. We're trying to claw our way back to the Champions League. But we're going to go for 30 minutes on positive and see what happens. I'm quite proud of what we did in the first leg. It just didn't work out. It was close, though. I think you could argue it was close. Okay? Okay. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Obviously, I've not seen your comments because I'm recording this now. Yeah, he's been injured, of course. That's why we aren't playing him. He's just, it's more of the match sharpness. It's not really the... I feel fine about his physical capabilities. It's it's the match sharpness. Should I put exploit the flanks on? I think the overlap on the right is enough. Although, did I, did I do this last... Yes, we did this last time. And, and I think it helped. Now, do I remember what we did last time? Of course not. I think we, we tightly marked these guys. And then we ran at these guys. Is that correct? I th that's, it feels correct. And then we can tightly mark that guy. Because we don't want him to get the ball. Okay. I'm aware I called Yuri Tillman that guy. Seventy-four percent possession, early days. Mm, not a penalty. Oh, they brought uh, Lamar is not Matt Sharp, so let's do something with him, shall we? Can we can we run at him? I mean, he's quite good, but you'd think you know Matt Sharpness has to play some sort of a. Oh, oh, Jero with the interception. Alonzo plays it back. Jero ran off to go play winger, which he, I guess he's supposed to do. He's not Matt Sharp, right? Like. We want him to get the ball so we can go boogity 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 and run at him. And he'd be like, I haven't played. I'm so confused. Boy, they are dominating possession. My goodness, they are dominating possession. T Telemans with the yellow. Could we get somebody sent off for them? FM, please listen to my... You know, I'm talking to my microphone. Please listen to... I want someone from Atletico Madrid to be sent off. Telemans would be a fine choice. So we could be disappointed... When we still have 25% possession against 10. Thank you. Oh, Bergren with a mitt. I don't know, lads. Five shots for a target. Maybe they were just playing slightly more defensively. They were play it's like a, a, a tiger playing with its food. <laughs> oh, mentals are disaster. 
Show some passion. Oh, boy. We've had two shots now, and we did get one of them on target. Okay, Bergren collects. Nice. Now, launch that. Don't you dare bonk that off his face. Oh, oh that was poor. Okay, that's, well, you know, play it all the way back. Where's our closing down? There it is. Mm, where'd it go? <laughs> where'd the ball go? SOS. That's what, we are in distress. This is a lot of buildup, isn't it? I mean, we're getting Olaid. I mean, it's the 30th minute. Chill. Of course, they're going to score here, and then they can justify it. But Oh, that's offside. That was offside. They didn't call it. That would have been a disaster. Oh, no. Bergeron collects. Great positioning, son. Come on, boys. All right. I, th I think we kind of have to get on our horses here. Come on. It's, it's risky to do it so soon after last shout. Oh, mentals are just atrocious. Oh. Opportunity gone wanting. Okay, those are the guys we want to have the ball. They're pretty poor at passing, but, you know, when you leave players wide open spaces... Oh! I didn't save. My lights flickered. Makes me nervous about the power situation. It's a beautiful sunny day. Of course it is. Of course it is. That's what happens at my house. Oh! Maybe so with the... Um... Nervy clearance, as we're going to call that. I'm going to say... I expect to see a much better showing. Put on the kid gloves with Arturo and with Oriol. Come on, boys. Now we've got all thumbs up. We're all motivated. Is this the last 45 minutes of our Champions League season this season? Can we nick two away goals while not conceding? Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, a 2-1. We'd have two away goals, so we don't need the 3-1. Yeah, that changes everything. Didn't change anything. Down the line. Okay. Uh, oh, why did you... I hope that was an animation error. It looked like he... The, the attacker was behind the defender. The ball was over here. He could have just stepped over and just taken it. But he didn't. And then Arturo is just hanging out. Watching watching everybody else play the game. You got all time... All, all day to get to that and leave it for them. My goodness. What are you doing? We are not doing it from the possession standpoint, my friends. Oh, oh we got turned. Oh, he just danced right past you. No, no, no. Go, oh, lovely Jero, I love you. Oh, okay, that was unexpected. Ernesto, Ernesto with a chance. Ernesto, oh, it's blocked. He gets a second out of the cherry. What a magical save. Oh. Oh, come on, center back. Find somebody. Ah, uh, ball playing center back. Oh, no, oh dear. <laughs> Alonzo is mad at the universe. He's like, why, why am I not up top? Well... They got two here and a, an attacking midfielder. We're going to do this. We're going to play Ken Luce in his n favored role, wrecking people. And we're going to let you roam and him attack. We're going to keep the overlap on. I'm actually going to tell uh, Grandi to overlap, underlap, which might run into Angelini. But my thinking is, one, we have to score. And two... We've got the, that triangle three, Oriole, So, and Loose. It's three on three. And then those wingbacks are freed up to go do what they need to do. Um, this is not great, but we're going to leave it for now.
I can't remember I was supposed to take somebody off at like the 75th minute. Or something like that. I don't remember who it was. Okay, Alonso's not playing well. I, I feel like I don't have a choice here but to bring on Maximiliano. Can the club, I think he's, he's a legend in my, in my interpretation of it. Can the club legend come in and rescue us? I don't think, I, I, I. we're going to go very attacking because we have to. I mean, we're not even getting highlights, folks. We're going to take Grandi off, I guess. We do need to think about future games, so... I don't I don't love the substitution, to be completely transparent with you, but... Off we go. And we're going to say push forward, because we kind of have to. Just a highlight would be great. Is it literally just going to... I just want to check. We're on extended highlights. I mean, all right, fine. We... Same situation. Uh, you know, like, let's change something and see if we can get any kind of reaction from football manager. You, but I, I, desperation mode, my friends. Engaged. Not even a single freak. Oh. Not. It's like, what is it? With a with a whimper, whimper instead of a bang. I just want to see more of the game, to be honest with you. It was just one of those days. I, I don't want to crush them. We're already out, right? So there's no need to then turn around and crush everyone's soul. You know, um, all right, my friends. Okay, we've got 17th, 9th, 10th, 20th, 16th, 1st, and 18th. I'm going to play a couple games. It's probably going to be right. Uh. I'm going to play a couple games. Maybe Atalanta. And then we'll see. Um, I do want to keep you here for one thing. <sighs> Not budget adjustment. I figure if we ask now and they say no, I can't, I don't even know how long it takes before you can ask again, but I don't think 30 million is enough, but I don't think it's, I don't think we're going to get any more. I don't think, okay. September, it would be really great if this timeline was more, more useful. I guess you do get money at the end of the season, but in the next, right, we just got 10 million. And in the next little bit, we're going to burn through, like in four weeks, we're going to burn through 6.2 million. I'm going to do something I don't often do. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to play forward, which is going to probably jam me up a little bit from a recording standpoint, but I'm willing to do it. I want your thoughts in the comments. Should we wait until there's some sort of boost of income at the end of the season? Like typically May, June, June timeframe, we get some money like some TV revenues? Should we sell Surge to finance potentially asking for a stadium? Or should we ask now? I'm leaving it up to you literally in the comments. I want to hear from you. We'll see you next time. Whenever that is. So get, get to commenting. There you go.